What's up everybody, Nathaniel Morton here with NathanielMorton.com where on this YouTube channel we make videos on how to get bigger, stronger, faster, and more explosive. So if you are interested in any of those topics, definitely subscribe to the channel and click the bell so that you never miss a video. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you through three exercises that you can do to increase your vertical jump and dunk a basketball. And I've personally used these three exercises throughout all my workouts to increase my vertical and dunk a basketball myself. Now, before I get into the video, let me apologize very quickly for two things. Number one, I have not posted a video in about two to three weeks. This is because, not making excuses, kind of, my camera broke, okay? It just all of a sudden stopped working, wouldn't even turn on, so I sent it into Canon. They told me they couldn't fix it, so I had to drop another $1,000 on a new camera. Um, I got the upgraded version. I got the Canon EOS 80D. I'm going with the biggest and the best, so if you're interested in yourself in making videos, it is a little pricey, but I will link the Canon EOS 80D down below in the description. I highly recommend this camera. That is number one that I'm apologizing for. Number two, if I am a little rusty with whatever I say, that is because I haven't recorded a video in two to three weeks. All right, let's jump into the video. The first exercise that I have for you are ankle bounces. Now, ankle bounces are a beginner exercise. This is very good if you work out at home and you do not have any weights. However, it is also very good if you do work out in a gym, you do weight training because you can use it as a superset or even in between your sets, you can do these ankle bounces. So for myself, I will do a set of squats and then I will do ankle bounces the whole time until I do my other set of squats. So what ankle bounces are is just as they seem, you are bouncing using your ankles and your calves only with very little bend in the knee to just jump up and down, up and down, up and down. So you can do very high reps of these. You can do 50 reps at a time, 100 reps at a time. You don't even really have to count the reps. It's very similar to a jump rope without the rope, but for a beginner, this is very good to increase your reactive speed and strength. And if you are an advanced lifter, this is very good because you can do it as a superset or in between your sets. The second exercise that I have for you today, very similar to ankle bounces, is jump rope. You can either warm up with jump rope, which I do a lot and I highly recommend that you do after you do your stretching and your mobility and your warm up and sitting in the sauna or whatever else that you guys do, I highly recommend a jump rope because it gets those plyometrics, it gets your ankles and your calves and your knees and your whole body ready for what is to come, the more intense exercises that are to come. So jump rope is the second exercise that I have for you today. The third exercise that I have for you today are line jumps. And if you haven't noticed, all of these are very low intensity exercises. Ankle bounces, jump rope, line jumps, these are all very low intensity, but they are great for beginners once again, and they are also great to superset with or put in between your sets of your heavy squats and your heavy deadlifts and your squat jumps and everything fun like that. So line jumps are simply where you get a line on the floor and you just laugh Literally jump back and forth over the line. These are great for the same reasons that ankle bounces and jump ropes are great. So these are three exercises that you can do to increase your vertical jump and jump higher. These were focused on beginners or supersetting or in between your big sets of your big lifts. This has been Nathaniel Morton. Sorry if I was rusty guys, but I don't even remember my outro. What is my outro? This is Nathaniel Morton. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Share this if you think somebody else can get value from the content. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, remember that action is everything. Knowledge is not power. It is only potential power until you take action on what you know. Meaning that if you want to get results, you have to take actions that will bring you those results. Small actions bring small results. Major actions bring major results. That wasn't that bad. I'll see you guys later.